Hello, my name's Sarah Coyle and I am truly honoured to be the author of this month's World Book Day book club title. And that title is Pick a Story, A Pirate Alien Jungle Adventure, written by me and illustrated by the fantastic Adam Walker Parker. So um, a little bit about myself. I like to write. I try and write every day if I can. Um, I like my hair to stick out like a dried out mop. I'm not sure exactly why. I like music. I like lots of different kinds of music. Pick a Story is a choose your own adventure book. And in that book, you get to choose what happens. So it's about Vincent and his dog, Trouble. And Trouble has got lost and you, the reader, need to help Vincent find her. I enjoyed reading Choose Your Own Adventure books when I was a teenager and a grown-up. And I enjoyed them because I liked the pursuit and I liked living the adventure, the feeling of being in the story and helping, uh, allowing things to happen and making choices about what happened. And I decided to write a book for children that had all the ingredients of the grown-up Choose Your Own Adventure books and for you to be able to take ownership over the world and for you to get to decide what happens to Vincent and feel real ownership over that story. I, I would say that you need very clear paths and very clear storylines. And I began doing this by, I got a sketch pad and I use different coloured pens to draw out the different storylines and the vague things that I should thought should happen and I would draw a box for each page number and then try and decide what happened in that box and I had a blue pen for the pirates world and a green pen for the aliens world and so on and then I got different coloured post-its for each world and I put them up with one post-it for each page and use the blackboard wall to draw chalk lines and then I could move things around and I could figure out where I was going. And so once I knew where I was going, then the real challenge was editing down how many words I have because I always write too many words. And so I would find that on each page, I need to make room for the illustrations and turn like 150 words into 30 words without losing any of the um, any of the story that I wanted to keep in there. Um, firstly, I would say number one, you need to have a clear goal of what your character wants. In Pick a Story, A Pirate's Alien Jungle Adventure, Vincent needs to find his dog trouble. And that's a good goal that everyone who reads the book can understand how important that is. So I'd say make your character in any adventure story have a really clear goal of what it is they want and need to find. Um, number two, I would say choose to work with themes that you love and you are interested in. Start with your endings, know where you want to end up because it is much easier to uh, know where you want to be and to write to that than it is to suddenly realise that you need endings and then everything else backwards needs to change going backwards. So start with your endings, figure out where you want to end up. And finally, if you're writing Choose Your Own Adventure, I would say map out your outlines, your different storylines. And you could do this like I did with post-its, or you could just sketch out on a bit of paper, but happy writing, get stuck in. My book club question to you would be, if you were trouble, Vincent's dog, where would you choose to go on this page? Would you choose to go and visit the pirates? To go and check out the snake or the alien spaceship? Or would you go somewhere else on this page? Where do you think you would go? And a bigger question, if the world were even bigger than this book and you could go anywhere in the world as trouble, where do you think you would end up? Caves, mountains, the beach? Where do you think you would go if you were a lovely dog? called trouble. Well, I would have to eat a snack that's very much in the spirit of the book. So I would get three different bases. I would get bread, crackers and rice cakes. And I would get three different, uh, three different fillings. So cheese, peanut butter, jam. And then I would get three different sides, carrots, cucumber, pineapple, close my eyes and choose one of each. And whatever I ended up with, that's what I would have to eat, probably with a glass of milk. 
I would say books and reading mean so much to me, and here's why. By reading, you can go some way towards experience, uh, experiencing things outside of your own head. And this is why I think that reading is so important, because if you read a book and it makes you think or feel, you can, in some small way, live outside of your own head. And that can be very powerful, I think, because it means that you can understand other people more and understand the wider world more. And I think that reading can really make your life richer as a result of that and can really help in everything else in life. Reading helps us understand things and it is also great fun. I have three books to recommend you, to you today. The first one is Where the Bugaboo Lives, written by Sean Taylor and illustrated by Neil Layton. Um, Floyd and his big sister Ruby go down in the valley behind the houses to where the bugaboo lives. And you get to make some lots of wonderful choices in this interactive book. The second book I'd like to recommend today is Nanette's Baguette by Mo Williams. Um, it's Nanette's turn to get the baguette. Is she set? You bet. I love this book because the rhyming in it is delicious. It is fantastic to say, but also uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Will Nanette manage to get the baguette all the way around the corner home? And the third book I would like to recommend to you today is da, 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 Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. And I think this is one of my all time favorite picture books. Um, I first read it many years ago. Floyd's kite is stuck in a tree and how can he get it down? I can't tell you because it's too brilliant and you need to um, get hold of a copy to find out for yourself. Um, but I can tell you that Floyd's resilience, his determination and his excellent interpretation of the laws of physics uh, mean that this book is an absolute must read. Thank you so much for joining us for this month's World Book Day Book Club. I hope you've had a marvellous time hearing about Pick a Story, a pirate alien jungle adventure written by me, Sarah Coyle, and illustrated by Adam Walker Parker. Um, if you managed to get hold of a copy of the book, please do read it and let us know uh, what you thought of it on the World Book Day website. Thanks very much. Farewell. <laughs>